The GROW model is one approach utilised by performance coaches to guide their approach to their coaching sessions and maximise their effectiveness. There's a four-step process to using this model and involves the coach establishing from the client G, goals, what do you want? Or, reality, what is happening now? O, options, what could you do? W, way forward and will, what will you do? John, leading on from our first coaching session together, what's the aim for our discussion today? Well, after discussing with you there, Paula, I f I'm finding that as a bookkeeper, self-employed accountant, um, the major problem that I have at the moment is training and staff. And I find that that's the major obstacle in my um, progress at the moment. OK. To assist us with that, can you tell me what success looks like to you, John? Well, uh, it looks like a very relaxed atmosphere and a lovely colour blue. Notice what John said and the important pieces of information our clients give us through the effective use of questions. Moving forward in my coaching session with John, I harnessed his own metaphor of the colour blue being the colour of success and reflected back to John his own vision of success. Other effective questions that I asked John in using the goal part of the GROW model were as follows. What do you want to achieve long term? When do you want to achieve it? Is that positive, challenging and attainable? How will you measure it? This led us into the reality of what's happening with John at the moment. And who's directly involved in what's happening now? The employer, uh, the trainees and myself. And if things are not going well, what will happen? Well, I could lose a client and the effect that would have on confidence, basically. So what's missing in the situation at the moment for you? A structure. That's um, the most important thing that's missing. I also lack a certain amount of confidence due to my lack of experience. Other effective questions that were utilised with John in using the reality part of the GROW model are as follows. What is happening right now? What about others involved? What happens to them? What is holding you back from finding a way forward? Intuitively, what is really going on here? Then John and I moved on to discuss options. OK, so what else might you do? What else might I do? I'd like to take a course, a number of courses maybe, and uh, talk to my employer. Uh, talk to the trainee involved, or the trainees involved, and um, take it from there. Yeah. Encourage the staff. I'd also um, like to take steps in adapting a more practical approach. And just imagine that money was no option whatsoever, no problem. What would, would you do? What one thing would you do? Well, if money was no object, I would first one of the first things I do is I change the educational system. Can you expand a little bit on that for me? Well, I find that uh, from my own experience, uh, I find it hasn't changed in these days either. That uh, people coming out of um, college and coming out of school feel uh, because of the situation in schools that you can or that you only need to concentrate fifty percent of the time, that you only need to get forty or fifty percent to pass an exam. I feel that it's the same situation in work and that they concentrate only 50% of the time and probably do a job 50% right. In continuing to explore John's options as part of the GROW model, I also used the following questions. What options do you have for steps to resolve this? What else might you do? What could you do? What are the costs and benefits of each of these ideas? John and I then moved to wrapping up our session and to creating our action plan. OK, so what options do you choose then? What options do you choose at the moment to resolve what's happening for you? Encouragement uh, for the trainees involved. And as I said earlier on, I'd also like to take some practical steps 
um, to developing a practical approach. Okay. So what's hindering you at the moment from moving forward? What do you think is hindering you? Uh, the attitude um, towards training. Generally, I don't find that it's um, of good value. And um, I find also that I have a certain lack of experience, um, which does hinder me as well. At this point, in order to guide John towards an effective action plan, other questions were used. To what extent does this option meet all your objectives? What are your criteria and measurements for success? When precisely will you start and finish each action step? What support do you need and from whom? I then asked my client to discuss what worked well for him in the session and also to summarise his action plan. Is there anything else you want to talk about now, John? Are we finished? Well, I'd like to um, express uh, that I, I, I do have an actual angle now and I know what my first steps are going to be. The first three steps, basically, I'm going to talk to the employer uh, in more detail, with much more emphasis and more importance. Um, talk with the trainees involved and get some uh, quality feedback from them. And also talk to other business people I know in the sim similar circumstances. I know a few lecturers, for example, who um, basically their job is to communicate. And I think that's probably where I'm falling down. But uh, I found this session extremely valuable in the sense that uh, I realise now that rather than getting stressed out and upset about things, that I can actually just take very logical, practical actions uh, towards solving the problems. So thanks very much. In summary, the purpose of the GROW model is to compel our clients to focus for precision and detail and to create a feedback loop.